In these problems, we're working with the double angle identities. These are trigonometric identities that allow us to find uh, the sine, the cosine, or the tangent of two times some value if you've got the sine and the cosine of that value. In this particular problem, we want to find all of those, the sine of 2x, cosine of 2x, tangent of 2x, and we're given the cosine as a ratio, and we're told which quadrant it terminates in. That information is enough for us to get the sine as well, so that'll be enough uh, to use these identities. Let's go ahead and just draw a picture of this. So we're in quadrant three down here, so I'll draw some angle in quadrant three, and then we'll just complete the triangle that that angle makes. Okay, so in this triangle, we know the cosine is negative 15 over 17. It's going to be negative because it's in quadrant three. Quadrant three tells us that the sine is also going to be negative. Remember, the cosine is the x value of this uh, terminating point, and the sine is the y value. Both will be negative. Um, the cosine is also the adjacent side over the hypotenuse in a right triangle. So in this right triangle, our hypotenuse is here, 17. And our adjacent side to the angle, which is right here, is going to be 15 here. Now to get the sine of this same value, we need to find the opposite side. So we can do that with a Pythagorean theorem. Uh, we would have a squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. And let's see, 15 squared is 225, and 17 squared is 289. Subtract 225 from both sides. Oh, that's going to give us 64. So that opposite side is 8. So the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the sine of x, I'll just put it up here, is going to be well, negative, because we're in the third quadrant, 8 over 17. OK. And while we're at it, we might as well find the tangent, because we're going to need that for this um, tangent identity. And the tangent is the sine over the cosine. So 8, negative 8 seventeenths over negative 15 seventeenths. A negative over a negative is a positive. And if I multiply this by, negative, by 17 over 17, these 17s will all cancel. And we're just going to get 8 fifteenths for our tangent. So the tangent, we'll put that up here, is 8 fifteenths. OK. Now we have all the pieces we need to calculate the values for these double angle identities. Uh, he, from here on out, it's just some multiplication and subtraction. Let's uh, try the sine of 2x first. So that is 2 times the sine of x, which is negative 8 seventeenths. Oops, 8, not 18, uh, times the cosine, which is negative 15 seventeenths. Negative times a negative is going to be a positive, positive, and across the top we have 2 times 8 times 15. My calculator says 240. On the bottom, 17 times 17 is 289. So that is the sine of 2x. Let's try cosine of 2x next. So that is cosine squared. So negative 15 17 squared minus sine squared. And that is negative 8 17 squared. All right, so this is going to be. 225 over 289 minus 64 over 289. And that is 161 over 289. So that is the cosine of 2x. And all we've got left now is the tangent of 2x. And that is, let's do it over here. It's 2 times the tangent, and the tangent is 8 fifteenths, over 1 minus the tangent squared. So 8 fifteenths squared. All right, so on the top, multiply that 2 in. We'll have 16 fifteenths. And on the bottom, 
So we're going to have 1 minus 64 225ths. So that is, right, 161. So we've got 16 fifteenths over 161 225ths. And let's see, I guess we need to multiply the top and the bottom by 225, which is 15 squared. So that means on the top, we have 15 times 16, and that is 240. And on the bottom, we have 161. And I think that's where we can leave it. So that's our tangent of 2x. So that is how to use the double angle identities.